What's going on guys? Retex was here by Wonderful Day. Got a video for you guys. This is how to play Steam games on your RG35 XXH. And yes guys, this is a Steam game on here. Now, it took me a while to get used to the controls here, but we can actually drive our car by pressing the R trigger. And, oh snap, so now we gotta switch our gears here so you can see right there let's go to reverse back up guys it's actually so crazy that you could do this I'm gonna show you guys uh, exactly how you're gonna be able to do this in a second but this is city car driving that I'm playing right here let me show you guys quickly on my PC so there's steam right there as you can see I can escape out I'm just using my mouse right now but let me show you quickly we're in Steam, big picture mode. Exit out. And then I'm gonna swap right back to here. And as you can see, we are controlling it. We can back out, back out. Sorry, it's hard to see. But yeah, guys, you get the basic idea. We're controlling Steam, big picture. You can see my taskbar on the bottom, my icon on the top. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. All right, guys, so this is how you're gonna do it on the PC side. This is absolutely hilarious because I wanted to get my RG on my PC to play, you know, my games and show up on my PC without the HDMI cable. But finding that out or trying to, I was able to get PC games on my RG, which is not what I want to do, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it anyways. So you're going to need two things, Moonlight and GeForce Experience, which everybody should have on their PC at this point in time. If not, I'll uh, go ahead and download GeForce Experience. But you're going to go ahead to the settings, shield, and turn on game stream, okay? That's all you need for the GeForce side. And now you have to add your computer to here, guys, okay? Hit the plus button and enter the IP address of your computer. I'm gonna cut this part out when I type mine in. Get an error here, right? I'm gonna hit okay. You're supposed to turn this off and then turn it back on. And now it should connect over our network. And there's my PC, it pops up, guys. So you can keep this off and then turn it back on. But yeah, when you plug in your IP and you get that error, just turn it off and turn it back on, all right? So now my PC is connected, all right? If I just click this, um, you will get this little pop-up here on the other monitor I got it. I don't know where yours will get it, <clears throat> but sorry about that. Uh, type in 2365 or whatever code you get, okay? I'm gonna hit connect. And now, when I click that, Steam will pop up. You're gonna want Steam in big picture mode, guys. All right, so Steam's gonna open up here. It might open up on my left monitor. I'm not too entirely sure. I know you guys are watching my right side. I'm gonna get it over to my right. Just give me one second when it does update here. I hope you can see this. All right, so it took me a little while. My computer was kind of bugging out because my left monitor and my right monitor were kind of mirroring each other. So I cut a little bit, but just open up Steam and enter big picture mode. That's all you have to do. All right, and then click your mouse so you're on here, right? And you can control, you can move over. So just make sure you're on this page. Now, let's go back to the RG, leave Steam big picture open. All right, guys, so I do have Steam open right now on the left. I have Moonlight open and GeForce Experience all open. I'm hoping this does not mess up, but go ahead and hit the F button now. Go all the way down to network settings. Go to Moonlight, enter now the same IP address that you used for Moonlight on your PC. It's gonna be your computer IP. I right, hit the backspace guys and hit start pairing. Now you may get it successfully right away or you might have to input a pin code which will be on your PC. So now go down to connect, hit connect. Super simple, super easy guys. Make sure you know uh, GeForce is on and there we go. Now that's my Steam, you can see my mouse cursor right there. Let's go ahead now and open up big picture mode, right? You can see that's my left monitor right now. Let me drag this over, widescreen it. And now you click the screen and now we are set to go guys. As you can see, I'm controlling it right here. We go down, right, go back up, whatever we want to do guys. And then your A is going to be your B button, which I know makes no sense, but as you can see right there, 
and we can search games if we want to. Let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know, what do we have? Oh, we have Castle Crashers. So let's do C, A, S, T. There is a little bit of lag, guys, because obviously, like, Steam on this, like, it's not going to be perfect. It's really not, like, right now it is frozen because I was trying to push it fast, but you guys kind of, like, get the idea that, um, I mean, I just got my mouse moving here so I can... But yeah, it's, it's frozen on here. It's a lot to try to put on one small screen, of course. But yeah, it does work though, guys. Otherwise, like you can't play games you saw uh, very early on. But yeah, I did end up making it freeze. You can just turn it back off and reconnect. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. Subscribe to your channel if you're new. And that guy's have a wonderful day. Peace.